Hello, uh, I wanted to demonstrate the new Jamcaride Stock Tracker, which is a website that I've been working on for a couple months now. Um, it will be used internally to manage all of our inventory at Jamcaride, um, but I was really proud of it. I made it all in React.js and um, Node backend with MongoDB, um, and I kind of just wanted to show it off to demonstrate um, why it is superior from our previous system. So our previous system um, was much more static uh, and you couldn't move things around and rename things and create things uh, without me going into the database. So let's just sign in here and go to home and you can see, um, so right off the bat, we have all of our main parts and um, it is much more dynamic. So for example, if we wanted to rename white truck, it's simply clicking edit, adding whatever to it, and then now it is like that everywhere. Um, you can uh, move the parts around in the lists. So if we wanted to move it all the way down to the bottom, now it shows up down here at the bottom. Um, obviously you can withdraw and deposit from here. So uh, those are showing up in the logs, which is another big improvement, is now you can look at uh, what you've done in the past. Also, all this data is just um, sample data. It's not uh, real. Um, so another thing uh, is that you have, on top of categories, category sets. So we can go over here to our grip tape category set, and I obviously don't have any more, but um, you can add. Let's just add another category of all grip to it, and then that shows up. It has all of the other grip types that we have. And just like everything else, um, these are arrangeable as well. So now we have snow grip above all grip. Um, so that is much, much more dynamic than it has been in the past. Um, and let's move on to complete sets. So something cool is that I, I made this little image here, which shows you um, exactly what you're building, which is so much more visual and fun and less error prone than it has been in the past. Here on these graphs, you can see um, total quantity of parts as well as divided by that quantity divided by the occurrence of that part. So for example, there's four black wheels on this complete set. And so it's going to demonstrate, it's going to show you total quantity, um, 700 uh, and complete sets. So divide by four, um, it shows that you can make 194 complete sets before you're out of black wheels or 38 complete sets before we're out of black yellow grip. Again, fake data. Um, this also has sets just like the categories have sets um, and can be rearranged in much the same way. Um, if we get a custom order, which we do a lot, um, we can just go in here and create um, a one-off complete set uh, to be withdrawn. So um, it's like, yeah, so this is a white deck, which is why it looks empty. But um, so then you just hit submit and that would withdraw all those parts. So we can go into the logs and see all those parts getting pulled. On top of all the parts, we can also see a couple other parts being pulled, like a CS box and shock pads. And that is because there is auxiliary part functionality over here. So um, this means that for every complete set that gets pulled out, uh, we also withdraw a uh, CS box as well as two shock pads. And this is something that is easy to change, like if we wanted to keep track of bearings. It's that easy. So um, last but not least, we also have parts, which is just every single part that exists. Um, you can search these um, and find exactly what you're looking for, um, for editing and for withdrawing, and doing anything you need. Um, as well as we also have an inventory system, so you can select different inventories. So for example, Canada, for a Canada reseller, we can go and see what kind of inventory Canada has. Obviously, I haven't populated the data here, so it's all zero. Um, but it's just very simple to be able to switch back and forth between multiple inventories. Um, 
And that is everything on the new website. Uh, thank you very much for watching.